Hey everyone, I've been working on my penguin project. Uh, in the last video at the end, I mentioned that I was going to be turning the penguin into an ML agent in Unity. And I have been working on that for quite a while. I wanted to give a little update and then also share a few tips, uh, lessons learned sort of as I've been going through this, some nice reminders when you're going through these ML agents projects or anything similar. Um, and so, I uh, just want to kind of start with number one here and I'll riff on it a little bit. So number one is machine learning is not always intuitive. At times it seems like you have it figured out. Something clicks and you're like, I get it. This machine learning thing, all it is is it's just some inputs and some outputs. And then, you know, you just train it for a little while and then it just works. Uh, and I tend to fall into that trap as well. I feel like I've got it all figured out and then it doesn't work at all. Even the simplest problem doesn't seem to work the way you expect it to. And that is exactly what happened with my penguins. So my plan was to have these penguins that could swim around, they would catch fish, and then they would bring them back to their baby. And then as penguins do, vomit their food into the baby's mouth. Uh, not quite so graphic. I was gonna have a little blob on the ground um, next to it. And so I, I hooked this whole thing up and then I hooked up the training and then I trained it a ton of times and it never actually worked. I, I actually, looking at my tensor board uh, for all these different runs, this is a, a way to sort of visualize your cumulative rewards over time. I have, I mean, at least 30, 40, maybe 50 different runs that I have been trying to get this thing to work. And I finally today managed to make some amount of breakthrough and it's, uh, it's exhausting, but it feels good when you finally have a little bit of a breakthrough. So yes, machine learning is not always intuitive and that's okay. Two. Subtle changes can make a huge difference. So I tried a bunch of little things and because these things train over time, just the littlest details can make quite a big difference. A tiny reward here or a lack of reward at all for certain things. For example, um, when I wasn't rewarding for picking up fish, I was just rewarding for successfully feeding the baby penguin. Uh, sometimes it would just never learn and that is um, something that just comes from lots of trial and error and there's not much you can do about it sometimes. You can be, you can kind of try and figure it out ahead of time, but just know that you might be right around the corner from where you need to be, uh, but then all of a sudden something will click, you'll train and it'll work and it's amazing and you can celebrate. Now, number three, be patient and persistent. So, Patience and persistence. <laughs> These ones are kind of obvious, but also very difficult to implement, especially for me. I tend to want to see results right away. Um, some of my best training runs on this have been the ones where I had to kick off a training and then just head off and do something else. Um, you know, maybe go to dinner or go to work or, you know, anything like that. And then I come back and magically it works. Um, so that's the patience part and also just being patient with yourself as you're learning a new thing and you're doing something that's very difficult. Um, only a few people in the world really understand this stuff to its core and those people are, you know, working at big universities or big companies and uh, getting paid lots of money, more money than I certainly am getting paid for my work. Um, and just being patient with yourself while you learn this process, it's okay. Um, and then persistence, obviously, you know, you hit that error message and you keep working through it. It's okay. You, uh, it doesn't work at all and that's okay. You just have to be persistent and keep trying and keep trying to get to the next, the next step and eventually you'll get there. Number four, lesson number four, go back and read the documents and look at examples. So the examples are there for a reason. The documentation is there for a reason. Sometimes you read it through once and it doesn't make a lot of sense or you think it understands, then you try and implement it for a while. If you come back to it, a lot of times it makes more sense. And if it makes more sense, then you can go back and apply it and make some tweaks. So in my case, I was trying to get these penguins to work 
And then I went and I was looking at some stuff that the Unity team, uh, the AI team put out on Curiosity. And I thought it was really interesting. There's this talk on YouTube um, from Go to 2018. It's a conference. And this talk, Danny Lange, he's the, um, he's the head of AI at Unity, I believe. He talks about how important this idea of intrinsic curiosity is and how uh, an agent can learn something that it otherwise might not figure out just by being curious and trying new things. Uh, I was curious, so I tried that out and ultimately it wasn't the thing that got me to where I wanted to be, but and now I know another thing about um, how curiosity works in Unity ML agents. And um, I also had to go back and read a lot of the documentation for Unity ML agents to make sure I really understood everything that was happening, all the hyperparameters that go into it, all this different stuff. Uh, it's going back to the beginning, it's not all intuitive. So the more you can read the documentation and beef up on your understanding of it, the better. Um, and then a bonus one, uh, this one is courtesy of my wife, Kayla. Um, there was a point where I had things kind of working and then I said, you know what? I'm going to try and do this completely differently. I didn't use those exact words, but that's essentially what I was saying. And she said, save a copy of what you're doing. Like, don't just go changing the script. You might have to come back to this. And at first I was like, eh, yeah, okay, whatever. I mean, it's not working that good anyway, so I might as well throw it out. Well, let's just say I'm glad I, hang out, I hung on to it because... <laughs> I had to end up coming back to that, and um, it was uh, saved me a lot of time when the thing that I thought was going to work didn't end up actually working very well, and so I was able to come back and make some progress. So now I'm starting to see some real progress on this thing. Uh, it's looking like I'm going to be able to put together a real tutorial now, and uh, make sure to check that out in the next video. I'm going to post the full end-to-end -end -to -end tutorial free assets to download and experiment with. It's with the latest version of Unity ML Agents, and uh, it's going to be great. So check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this video is helpful. Make sure to leave a comment. Let me know, uh, you know if this video is helpful, if you like this style of video. And uh, of course, subscribe so you can see more. Thanks.